Hey, this is Dave Cavett uh, coming at you, and uh, just wanted to kind of quickly run through um, a little math puzzle gameplay mechanic that uh, I implemented here uh, in our game, The Lost Function. Um, the game is released currently, but uh, this um, is for an upcoming level that's going to be released in the near future. So, um, just wanted to quickly go over. Um, not only about the scene itself, but uh, just some of the uh, cool little things that uh, state machines and whatnot that I use to create the scene. Um, so here's the scene over here in Unity, and um, basically we took a lot of uh, unused assets out of the scene um, just to save on memory consumption and stuff like that. So pretty much anything that isn't in the camera shots uh, we took out of the world. Um, so, yep, that's that. Um, moving back over here uh, to the editor. Um, I'm using Playmaker, which is a state machine editor uh, for Unity. It's a kind of a third-party extension. Um, really uh, awesome tool, um, similar to Kismet in Unreal. Um, it kind of allows for us non-programmers or people who aren't quite up to snuff with uh, programming to uh, still design uh, cool gameplay mechanics and uh, basically create games. Um, so I made a few different state machines here for this one scene. Uh, this is kind of a general scene manager going through fade-ins and cameras, shots and stuff like that. Um, there's some for the uh, statue as well that uh, basically goes in and checks for correct answers on the uh, math puzzle itself. Um, so, um, and a few others as well that, uh, you know, transition between materials and fades and uh, does some work with different textures and things like that to kind of just manipulate the scene, um, do some stuff with sound as well. So, um, I guess with that, let's go ahead and play the scene and you can see, uh, see the mechanic. So it made a little uh, marble slab, trifolding slab here that kind of rolls out of the hand and gives you the puzzle uh, that you have to solve. Um, and you solve it by uh, selecting the fingers, the correct numbers. Um, and here it's just asking for the factors of 30. Um, if you uh, get one wrong, it basically uh, just opens all the fingers back up that you've uh, currently put down just to kind of say, hey, nope, try again. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and just select all the right ones. And the secret door will appear, uh, revealing the uh, prize, I guess if you want to call it that, I don't know. Just call that for now the uh, box, mysterious box. So you just collect it, and Pi walks back down the ladder. So pretty simple little state machine. So that's about it. Uh, Dave Cavett signing off.